Hello world and welcome to another episode. Thank you for tuning in and today we will be exploring the best coffee making technique sort of thing. So yeah, let's go do it. Coffee for me is something I really, really like drinking and uh, I kind of need it in some cases. So every morning I have a cup of coffee, usually try to limit my consumption to maybe two cups a day. It certainly is an everyday ritual has been for quite a few years now. And that's the cat that you can hear in the background, but he's looking for treats. I want to show my technique for making a good Stop, Jack. I'm going to show my technique for making a great cup of coffee at home. And uh, it's simple to do and much cheaper than going out and buying coffee somewhere all the time. I think uh, one aspect of this is a trip to Europe I had back in August that kind of ruined my idea of coffee. And, well, actually it improved it, but I really, really like the espresso-based coffees now. Here are a few clips from Italy that uh, may illustrate the point of why coming back home and having coffee here just doesn't cut it anymore. Check it out. So this here, this is an AeroPress, and the whole idea here is to emulate an espresso type drink. It doesn't do it with a big machine and all of that, but it does capture some of the key characteristics of and espresso machine being pressured. What you do, it has this little plunger on the inside, has a little chamber. You fill your coffee into here and then uh, put a little lid on it with a filter, tip it over, put it on your glass or your cup, and then squeeze it out. You get that pressure element which captures some different flavors from the coffee beans. This is simple and pretty effective. A uh, regular espresso machine will be pretty expensive and all of that. That's not really feasible. So this comes close and it's much better than brewed coffee. In the past, I would always go with the French press. The French press just doesn't do it anymore. Doesn't cut it. Prior to the French press, it was always <laughs> drip coffee out of a machine. You can see the progression here. I'm doing a double batch, which will mean 34 grams of coffee. Tear the scale, weigh it out. This is Juan Valdez coffee from Colombia. A good grind size for this would be uh, drip coffee. So anything for filtered coffee would get you there. Espresso grind uh, typically is a bit too fine. So it's a pretty simple device. The AeroPress comes with a little cone here for easier um, weighing out of coffee grounds and also pouring in your water. I'm going to be making more of a cappuccino here. So one key thing will be a milk frother. Now this might be hard to see, but there's a little blade down there in the bottom that's going to froth the milk. Double batch, so 140 grams of water just swung in. And then cap it with your filter. I uh, wetted this filter just to, well, not really sure why, but I think it's a good idea. Squeeze out the air. Then I'm going to look at Steve for just a few minutes, uh, taking a style from French press coffee. Now with French press coffee, you would typically let it steep for maybe four to six minutes, depending on the strength. I won't do that in this case here, maybe about two minutes will do. I just want to extract more flavors from the beans, from the grounds. For illustration purposes, I'm going to use a glass mug, but I'm actually going to put this into a thermos so I can take it to work. So now we squeeze out the coffee. Now this would be equivalent to about two shots of espresso. And just need to add the foamed milk and then I have myself a cappuccino. Yeah. <laughs> Too small of a mug. Oops. Okay, forget the glass idea. And there you have it, homemade cappuccino. Relatively simple and great tasting. So I'm just going to transfer this to a travel mug and then I'll be on my way. Ah. I've been making those ever since coming back from Italy in August. I find that method to be much better than French press and certainly much better than just regular drip coffee. I'm on my wig work now. I'm going to finish my cappuccino and 
then I think tonight I'm going to do a story time episode on my trip to Italy. I think that would be pretty good. I hope you enjoyed my technique for making homemade cappuccinos. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you check out yesterday's video and hit that subscribe button. I will see all of you in the next episode. Nevertube out.